One of the new devices that we've added to Reason version 4 is the Thor Polysonic Synthesizer. Thor is a semi-modular synthesizer and contains six different oscillator types and four different filter types. You can route these oscillators and filters in many different ways. It also contains many different envelopes, LFOs, effect, built-in effects, and a step sequencer with many different functions as well. Looking at the oscillator types, we have an analog oscillator with selectable waveforms, a wavetable oscillator with also a number of waveforms that you can select and choose from, phase modulation, FM, a multi-oscillator, and a noise oscillator. In the filter slots, you can select any of the four different filters a low-pass ladder filter, state variable filter with many different filter types as well, a comb filter, and a formant filter. You can choose up to three different oscillators and up to three different filters at one time in a Thor patch. Your LFOs and envelopes can be selected down here as sources for modulation in the modulation matrix. By selecting a source down here and selecting its destination and giving it some amount, that source will now modify the destination here. The step sequencer down below can be used to either input notes or program notes or can be used to modify the sound further. Finally, on the output stage, we have a number of different effects. We have a built-in delay line, a chorus, and also a wave shaper, which allows you to change the characteristics of the sound. Now let's go through some basic patch creation using Thor. I'm going to have an analog oscillator on oscillator 1 here, and I think what I'll do is use a pulse width or a pulse waveform. Go to oscillator 2 and let's bring in the wavetable oscillator. And I'll use one of the sine wavetables. Uh, fixed signs. If you scan this position here, that'll actually take you to different points within the wavetable and give you a different texture. On the third one, I think I'll bring in this multi-oscillator, give it a fair amount of detune. All three of these oscillators are routed into filter one using these buttons here. These allow you to enable or disable which oscillator is being routed into the filter. On the filter itself, I think I'm going to go with a bandpass filter, and that's going to be in our state variable selection. Go to bandpass, give a little resonance, bring down the frequency, cut our frequency a little bit. And now I want to take this filter and maybe route this through a second filter. So coming down through here, you can see that the arrows point down in this section, and what I'm going to do is click this arrow to the left to route that filter into filter 2. For this one, I'm going to select a formant filter. And then up here, this arrow allows me to take the output of this filter and route it back on out to the amp section. So now we've got the basic texture of the sound. Working with the envelopes, I can change a little bit of the characteristics of how the sound is being triggered, and give us some different timbres there. Get a little short decay. You notice the amp envelope is automatically routed up. You don't have to set that in the modulation matrix. Same for the filter envelope. These two envelopes are already configured and set up for you. So we'll take the filter envelope and give it a little bit of a slower attack and raise its amount on the filters up here and down here. Now I'm going to use LFO1 to modulate the pitch of, of the analog oscillator and give it a different texture. So down here we'll go to the source, select LFO1 as the source, and 
go to oscillator one's pitch as the destination. Give it some amount and change my rate. Once I've done that, I can now go over here to the section on the right hand side where the third filter is and the effects. And I can add things like a little bit of delay on the sound. And if we wanted to, we can process it even further through a third filter here. And I'll take the comb filter. So there you have it. That's sort of the basics that you need to start creating some patches using Thor. Now we've only scratched the surface here. Thor is a very powerful synthesizer. What I've shown you here is how to select some oscillators and some filters and assign them into the slots that are there. Use some of the modifiers, the LFOs and the envelopes to change or modify the sound. What I haven't shown you is some of the other things, uh, the step sequencer, some of the real time controls at the top, and when you flip the rack around, there's a lot of options when it comes to routing signal in and out of Thor. So again, we're scratching the surface here, but have some fun. This is a really powerful synth.